Donald Trump's firing of his campaign manager wasn't the only political shakeup. The New Jersey State Democratic Party's voted behind closed doors to dump Bernie Sanders State Chair John Wisniewski as a delegate just after the Democratic National Convention and replace him with Hillary Clinton loyalist John Graham. We called Assemblyman Wisniewski for comment and he agreed to sit down with Chief Political Correspondent Michael Aaron. Assemblyman, were you surprised that the state chairman, John Curry, knocked you out of the Democratic National Committee effective at the end of this convention? It's certainly his prerogative. When I was state chair, I had the prerogative to make a selection and have it voted on by the state committee members. I guess what really took me by surprise was the manner in which it was done, no advance warning. Matter of fact, I had asked his staff if that issue was going to be voted on at that meeting, and I was assured that it was not. So it caught me by surprise. How do you feel about it now? Look, the chairman can make the decisions he wants to make. I think it represents a lost opportunity uh, after a very interesting primary season in which supporters of Senator Sanders very fervently hoped that he would become the Democratic Party nominee. Uh, likewise, the supporters of Secretary Clinton. Uh, now is an opportunity to bring the sides together. I think making this choice uh, makes that harder. He says it had nothing to do with the fact that you were the chairman of the Sanders campaign in New Jersey. Do you think there is any connection between them? He's clearly a Clinton supporter. I can only take him at his word. I just wish we had had a conversation. Uh, you were, uh, he failed to renominate you and a woman, Rini Erdos. Uh, Both of us are Sanders supporters. Uh huh. The only two a national committee members in New Jersey to publicly endorse the senator. So I understand what the chairman has said, but clearly the implication of removing both of the Sanders supporters from the national committee in one meeting without any advance word really uh, calls into question the motives behind the change. Uh, when you were state chairman, uh, you chose not to renominate a couple of people. By the way, there are six total members along with the chair and the vice chair, who are members of the Democratic National Committee from New Jersey. I'm told that you did not reappoint uh, Paul Bontempo and maybe June Fisher, and that you took one, you, renom you nominated yourself for one of those seats, and that that may have rankled some people the wrong way. What's the answer on that? Well, it's not accurate. First of all, June Fisher was replaced, that's true. I had a conversation with her. I let her know what was coming. I let her know the reasons why. Uh, with regard to Paul Bontempo, actually Paul had taken my seat when I became the state chair. Uh, so when I became state chair, you're automatically a DNC member, and Paul took my seat. And then when I ceased being state chair, I went back to the seat I had had. You renominated yourself is what someone might say. Right. Correct? Yes. Okay. Um, did John Curry succeed you? Uh, as state chair, As yes. state chair? Yes. How have relations between you and your successor been I, up to I, this listen, point? Listen, I've, I've always uh, held John in high regard. I still hold him in high regard. I'm disappointed at how this was handled. Uh, I think that it's a lost opportunity for bringing the campaigns together to have a united New Jersey delegation in Philadelphia. Uh, he's bringing in two Clinton people to replace you and Rini Erdos, uh, um, Bernadette McPherson and John Graham, who's a big fundraiser for the Clintons. Um, sure. And I, I think that underscores the difference between the philosophies of Secretary Clinton and Senator Sanders. I mean, Senator Sanders raised $215 million from grassroots uh, supporters. And the secretary's campaign is, is about raising money from large donors. And I think that the appointments reflect that change in philosophy. All right, but you'll still be a delegate to the convention. I will be. All right. Thanks for talking to us, John. My pleasure.